construction team doesn't break ground until the dealer answers this question. What's my ROI? No one invests in new floor tiles, service bays, or standardized signs unless there's evidence it will pay off. NADA asked consultant Glenn Mercer to run the numbers and found across the board that OEM mandated standardization was a bad investment. Making every store look like every other store in the same brand line and we could not for the life of us look talking to academics, to accountants, to dealerships, to buy sell advisors, to OEMs, um, find uh, where the payback was for that. But the survey found other upgrade items were better bets. Top on the list, making car repairs easier, faster, and more convenient. A service expansion in particular can all earn all your money back or more in a few years. That if you put $100,000 into a service bay, will you earn back EBITDA margin on that sufficient enough to pay that off in two or three years or four years, yes. Success in service depends on catering to the customer. That's true today and will be even more so in the future. This report envisions after hours drop off to avoid morning and afternoon rush hour, drop off and pick up service, and loaner cars in all locations. One of the things that we do in my dealership, for an example, if we have to respond to a need of our customer base, and they can't come in, and we'll go to them, whether it is at their home or in the parking lot where they work. Also, way up there in every survey is they're inconveniently located. Uh, there are Jiffy Lubes, you know, outside every shopping mall in America. Why is that not a dealership-owned facility? So it's more, this is the opportunity, I think, to uh, claw back uh, dwindling other margins. Then there's modernization, a fresh coat of paint, new displays that help customers envision their purchase, and other updates. The Mercer report suggests those pay off big time only if the dealership hasn't done it in years. Two or three times your money back in a few years, which is great, uh, and that comes when dealers take a rundown store and totally transformed it. Modernization upgrades have a longer return on investment in dealerships that are already fairly up to date. The report also said the most questionable investment is what Mercer called the Garage Mahal, hangar-sized museum-like showrooms that rarely invite customers or bigger profit. We need a cheaper way to alter the brand imaging of the store to reflect consumer needs without having to build it and tear it down periodically. Honda says standardization is a delicate balancing act that it gets right with its dealers. We've always had the reputation of working very well with the dealers. Um, I don't think you're, you'll see a Honda dealer in that report. The Mercer report conclusions confirmed its phase one findings on how investments pay off. Expansion? Often. Modernization sometimes, standardization rarely. The report urges car makers to let dealers be flexible to survive and thrive in the next decade.